Can you change a bad boy in his sauce on the podcast? These oddball thoughts he has will sometimes get a pass When intern John is fogging up the mirror And thinking in the shower And sauce Why are you wearing a beanie? You look like you want to be Avril Lavigne so badly right now <laughs> What? Do you, you trying to be Avril Lavigne? I, I always wear this, I wear this a lot Are you going through it? No, it's like almost 70 outside Did you give I'm like bangs? sweating What? You, you gave yourself bangs? No, to- okay, but not not to, like, deter from the podcast. Hi, it's me. Um, but uh, Emily tried to talk me into getting bangs last week, and I almost did it. Our you're- friend Emily, who does nights in D.C. Do you think, like, Emily, I think, would mean it in the best way possible? No, she did. Oh. That's the thing. Are you going through it, though, right now? Is that why you need bangs? Are you about to change your life? No, I'm not. I have been going through it for... I- Three weeks now. That's my mother. Great. I'm acting like intern John right now. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, I am going through it. I accidentally threw away the registration to my car. Um, so that's that's fun. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Because I went to clean my car out because, you know, um, I live in a city now. So I'm like, yeah, I know how this goes down. Like, got to make sure I clean it all out. Hello, Mr. Chewy. So I was cleaning it out and I was, and I know I just got my registration two weeks before I moved out of Maryland. So I, I know, I know, you know, I know you for a right? fact, but you know, you need it, right? Yeah, I know. They're so like, yeah, it's cool. It's good. I definitely had it. I had it. I don't know where it went though. I guess maybe in the move, I don't, maybe I went to go throw it in my car after it came the mail and I just didn't. That's going to be a pretty easy thing to replace though. I, you know, I don't know, because I'm trying to file the claim today of all of my furniture that got ruined in the move, um, so I have that to do. Um, that's I don't really have a long to-do list today. I'm just trying to finish unpacking before you and Chewy get here, and then also I would like my furniture to get fixed, like, because it's all fairly new stuff that got I, ruined. I would also like you to be unpacked by the time we get there, because... We don't really feel like unpacking this weekend. No, no, there's nothing that you guys need to do. Carly actually did all of that. <laughs> um, I knew this is a side question entirely, but I don't know if the hotel takes dogs, so you might have to take them. For like okay. The days. Yeah. Where are you staying? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the Hard Rock. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Reverb. I have no idea, but it's like new and they have really good deals, so that's yeah. Important. Dude, it is new. How is how are things aside? From- from everything you just listed, how are you? How is it? I with feel like we miss you in the podcast. I feel like things are looking up. Um, it's really nice out right now, and so that's exciting. Um, I have a lunch date tomorrow with a coworker, so that's exciting. It's a woman. It's not like anything like. Uh, that's a Bumble BFF thing. I do. No, that's that's uh Thursday night. Thursday oh. night, I have I have okay, a Bumble BFF that, yeah. date. Yeah. What? We're getting booked with our schedule. I am. I also, um, I am going to dinner again with my friend Meg, who does the women in radio thing. So we're going to get some dinner again. Um, yeah, I mean, things are looking up. Let me ask you, more nervous. I'd be more nervous for the Bumble BFF thing because it's like with a date thing, it's like, ah, oh, whatever, we weren't compatible. Yeah. If that thing, I was like, oh, this could be like a friend, like somebody to hang out with, and this could be a, a ride or die. Yeah, I was actually talking to my boss about this because, you know, um, you know, just you know, I feel like especially like I no no offense, I don't really feel like guys do Bumble BFF, do they? No. Exactly. So be, they don't really get it. Well, for a guy, I'd be like, hey, do you want to come over and play Xbox? Yeah. Yes. Come over, yeah. And literally play Xbox. We wouldn't say word to each other. And be like, all right, cool. See you later, man. Yeah, and like you know, back over the summer, I talked about doing this, and when I was living uh, in D.C., so you know, I've been trying to do it here, and I met some awesome women. But I was telling my boss, you know, I honestly like I I get excited that I because I really would love to have friends here, but also it's like it hurts so much more when someone you really want to match with doesn't match with you. And so I've been making up things in my head, like, okay, she just hasn't been on the app, like. She only had 24 hours to swipe right on me. She hasn't been on the app. Am I ever going to see her again? I don't know. I don't remember how this works, but, like, probably not. And we could have been really good friends. So, like, Bumble needs to fix that out. Yeah, I'm cool, I swear. Do you have – so when you match in Bumble BFF, do you pick up lines? Like, hey, do you, do you want to be like Woody and Buzz? Because you got a friend. No, you me. know what I say because I sent you a screenshot because I was like, this girl's not real. Uh, I say – so cheesy, Shelby. I wanted to block you for her. Okay, n- first of all, no. I don't know what to say. 
What? You're, did you say you like long walks down the wine aisle? You're basically hitting on her. I, no, because it's a joke. Like that's how you start out, like as a joke. Because what do you say? Like, hey, I'm. Sh- I don't know. Let's say that her name's like Maria. Hey, Maria, how Ave. are you today? What? Ave Maria. What are you talking about? You need to go to church more often. Okay. Just yeah. Ave. Oh, Ale Maria. No, not Ale. Nope. <laughs> Nope. That was what they said. Okay. No. <laughs> Thanks for making me look like an idiot. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so I don't know what else I could possibly say because what am I supposed to say? Like, hey, it looks like you just moved here too. Well, yeah, like everyone in their bio says just moved to Atlanta. Like every single person on there, basically. You do. You say, Alexa, play Toy Story soundtrack. You got a friend of me. No, no, that's so. <laughs> Why not? I think that'd be funny. I would. Listen, if a dude did that to me, I'd be like, this dude, he's going to murder me. But you being like, oh, she, this girl, she's wacky. I don't want to be that weird girl, though. Like, I want to be, like, the cool one that they want to be friends with. Well, instead, hey, do you want to take long walks down the wine aisle? You don't even drink wine, Shelby. I know. I don't oh, even wine. drink wine. So yeah. then I have to, like, come out that, like, I already lied to you because I'm like, I actually don't drink wine. Wine gives me really bad headaches, so I, I don't drink it at all. And then what happens next? Let me just keep talking, you know? I guess I look fun. How? I seem fun. Seem and are two different things. Um, how, how do you know these people are real? Well, okay. So I don't know if it's just like because it's 2021, everyone links their Instagram now. It's all in their their thing. Like like a lot of people's bios will be like, I don't check this very often. Check my my uh, Check out my Instagram. But if you're swiping, you swipe right on them. You can't check out their Instagram because it's not like you screenshot it to remember oh, it. True. So now, I think that's kind of funny. I know when you were here, you had the problem of a lot of people doing it to build their MLMs. Has that happened down there yet? Um, no, not yet. But a lot of people here, and I don't know if it's just because I've been on it a lot more here than I was in D.C., a lot of women have, like, no MLMs allowed. And I'm, I think that's kind of funny, personally. Um, but to each their own, to each their own. Uh, I haven't really, the only thing that I felt is awkward is when it's just kind of like, Cause my job is in my description. So a lot of people seem not a lot. It's only been a few, actually. I, I exaggerated. A few of them just only want to talk about that. And then I try to like steer away from it. And then they just keep going back to my job. Yeah. It's a weird dynamic with that though, because um, yeah. I certainly understand too, where it's like the job is very unique and different, right? So it's exciting mm-hmm. to talk about, but I feel pressure that I don't want to seem too braggy. Cause it comes a line where it's like, I could talk for days about, everything I do, but yeah. I, think I, I don't want, so I understand from your perspective, like you don't want to seem too braggy because like if you listen yeah. to all the cool things you've done, just working, I know you we take, take out the sauce ego, which is massive, but you just, oh, wow. you, you just listening to all the cool things you've done. It'd be easy for somebody who didn't know you'd be like, okay, I get it. Like your job's awesome. Well, not only that, like, I don't want them just to want to like hang out with me because of my job. Like, it, it's like, hey, like, we're not going to, like, do anything cool. Like, I don't have, like, any, like, into a club here or anything. I know no one. I know. Yeah. I don't know anything here. Did they ask you if you laugh at yourself off the air as well? No, I have not been asked that. But, like, I I have been asked, like, a lot of things. Like, oh, so you get to, like, hang out with celebrities? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, also, I- we're in a pandemic. I, I'm not hanging out with anyone right now. So, ooh. Do, do a podcast. Intern John's coming this weekend. Have you heard of him? Do, do, do a podcast of one. So That's fair. It. That's fair. Podcast. World's oldest intern right here. Not true. Uh, Ross Matthews from the Jay Leno show. Oh. Okay. Intern Ross. Remember I've him? never watched the Jay Leno show. And, you, know, you, you would know him, though, because he did a bunch of, like, celebrity things. He was on Chelsea um, Handler a lot. Didn't watch that either. Sorry. I'm just saying. If, if, you, if you looked him up, you'd be like, oh, okay, that guy. What's he so, look like? Uh, I don't know. He, he looks like a basic. He he know you know um. There's that comedian who does the puppets. Yeah, that with the same it starts with a J, right? Jeff Jerry. Sucks. I don't know, but the one puppet, the angry old guy, Ross Matthews looks like that, but with hair and not angry. Oh, like, okay. Like a face set up, and that yeah. thing. I think he did. I don't know if he had a stand up, but he started as an intern. It's anyway. F- side note entirely. I had an intern in Minneapolis who came to me from the David Letterman show was an intern mm-hmm. Letterman right around the time that everything hit the fan there as far as like, he was hooking up with like a staffer. And oh. he said there was a room that everybody knew not to go in because oh. that was the, uh, uh-huh. so he went from Letterman to radio. 
Yeah, I think it was like he was like going to school in New York, though. Like, oh, okay. He was from Minnesota originally. I think it was something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, it was cool. My week going well, thanks. Um, bringing you a live little nifties, mainly like what? Vitamins, mainly. No, I, I have vitamins. I told you, I have vitamins now. What vitamins do you have? They're elderberry vitamins with vitamin C and vitamin D, vitamin A. I have also B12. Mm -hmm. How many of these are you taking? Dude, they're gummies. Like, they're for kids. So. Okay, you're an adult, bro. So these are like, this is adult gummies. Get stuck and in I my throat, man. Get stuck in my throat. I don't know why. I can't, like, the big pills, I can't swallow. They just, like, I'm like, <sighs> and I live got? alone. I live alone. Like, that's the safety hazard. You can FaceTime me. I got you, bro. I'll never forget, though, this one time I was, like, actually choking on something, and Romina FaceTimed me, and I was, like, <laughs> I just projectile mom. When she was FaceTiming you? Yeah. I just reject out because <laughs> I was oh, joking. Man. So, yeah, it's, it's very scary. And if you FaceTime someone, I have learned that they can't do anything except be like, are you okay? <laughs> and you can't, you can't talk because you're choking. <laughs> well, who chokes? You're choking on a pill or were you choking on? Um, I was, I was having really bad acid reflux and oh. then I just started choking and cause I tried to take Alka-Seltzer and then it just like, it's a long story. I don't really want to, it's disgusting actually. Yeah, um, no, you're right there. yeah, no, it's, it's, that's what happened. Like I took Alka-Seltzer. I don't think the tablet had dissolved all the way just cause I wanted my, you know, acid reflux to be gone. And then it just started to do that in my stomach. And then I it like made it so I couldn't breathe because yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, and then it's I like, projectile I vomited. Sometimes I take a swig of Coke too fast and it goes down in the wrong hole. It's like the whole thing bubbles back up. Yes, that's what happened. It yeah. was it was intense. Yeah. So and I couldn't breathe at all. And I was like, this is how I die. Cause I was like, Ugh. But did you? No, I, I was almost there though. I could tell. Okay, that's good. That would have been awkward. Yeah. Um you can watch today's episode, watch the thought shower dot com. Very mm -hmm. You can watch on Facebook as well, Facebook.com slash intern John Radio. It's very exciting. Yeah. Uh excited to pack up. Um I haven't told Chewy yet. My parents sent him a lovely um, birthday gift, though, which is very nice. Aww. And they actually found a card that said to our grandson, and it was a dog. So I don't know if they make dog cards now. Yeah. Or it be yeah. A, 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 but it could have been a card with a dog on it for an actual kid. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and they sent him some treats and happy 12th birthday. Aww, but can I, can I tell you, our friend Andrew O'Day offended me today because it's, it's been a long day. Because we're trying to write an album um, for later this year. And, and Andrew and Ramina, nicest people in the world, they have a dog, Vinny, who is dope. And they have a dog, Lucy, who is the devil. A lot. A lot. She's a lot. And so I was, we're talking. I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, Chewie's going to be 12. Like, that's insane. I was like, how old's Vinny? And it's like, Vinny's going to be five. I'm like, oh, I thought Vinny was older. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, and I'm like, how old's Lucy? He goes, she's one. I'm like, yeah. Damn. I'm like, wow. He goes, yeah. I wish she was 12. And I was like. Andrew, what are you saying by that, man? <laughs> are you are you saying you wish she was on her way out? He goes, no, I mean, I wish she was like 17. Oh my God. <laughs> so I took that little bit there. And I was like, I can make him feel guilty. And that's what I did. Because that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, that is what you do. I, I just think, I, you know what he meant. He didn't mean like that. Also, you know, he loves funny. Lucy. No, it's he just, just funny. He just, she's, well, she's a lot. And he loves Chewy, more importantly. Well, yeah, he he does. Did you bring Chewy with you? Yeah, uh, no, because uh, I brought I dropped him off at my house because I was going went to get lunch with Riley first and then to Andrew's house. Oh, yeah. So the yeah, it was one of those things though. Like, um, got to his house and like the deal was like sit down and write stuff, and I was just so drained. I was like, mm -hmm. I, I saw the baby and left. So mm. I, forty-five minutes, but I was like, dude, I got nothing in the tank, and I just didn't want to waste his time either. We're like, trying to write something because I also don't like showing up to writing sessions. Not having something and expecting him to jumpstart it because I was like, that's not yeah. what we do it. And he, I like, that's just like not fair to him. So uh, we're going to do next, not this coming Saturday, the following Saturday. I think. Oh, that'll be so, fun. Yes, it is fun. The goal is to have a number one album in December. So that'll be cool. I'll, I mean, I'll play it all the time. Dude, thank you. You're so welcome. Will you yeah. buy it? I will buy it. I'd buy all my music. I'm actually like keeping it all going. Dude, thank you for doing that, by the way. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Uh, let's get let's get into this, shall we? Let's just let's just let's do the damn You're thing. You're in the thought mm -hmm. shit. Intern John. This was a funny. Daily Mail had this. They talked to this relationship expert. Can you ever change a bad boy? 
And I was like, this screams Shelby Saws. Why? Like, I don't really date bad boys. Like, I think they are, and then they're not. They're just mean boys. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, but you, like, you, like, do you think you're a fixer? Is that why you're drawing the, the horrible relationships? And I'm not even trying to be mean. Um, okay, so here's the thing. I didn't realize I was a fixer until I started looking back on all of my relationships. But they don't start out where, like, I need to fix them. That's the thing. I think that I'm just, like, maybe, like, bad luck or something. Like, we start dating, and all of a sudden, like, your world just falls apart. Like, that's what uh, happened. Like, false. the last three boyfriends I've had. False. The, the last one, his life was falling apart beforehand. I and didn't know that. Yeah, but, like, but I was. And it's the other ones, the other one lied about military. They both lied about military service. Well, yeah, yeah, but, like, the first two I dated, like, we started dating, and then, like, all of a sudden, like, he had all his family stuff go down, and then, like, you know, whatever, and then, like, the next dude I dated, it was, like, he got laid off, and then, like, all this stuff happened, and then, like, the next two I dated, it was just, whatever. Well, here's the big, the big thing I think about the, this um, Relationship Experts article is that the big point is that there are, quote, bad people who are frustrated and misunderstood. Like, that's the popular Hollywood like perception. Like he's just misunderstood. Like the he's just he's not a bad guy. He's just misunderstood. And usually yeah. it's like the boyfriend hates that guy, and then it turns out he's the nice guy in the, the role switch. And then there's people who are simply bad news. Who like there there's no redeeming quality. They're like they're just bad. Yeah. You know I, I mean? think I think though that yeah. I mean I can see that. I think though that like. Like, I, that is my issue, though. Like, I'm like, okay, like, you guys don't see him the way that I do. Or, you know, he's got so much more to him. And, in, I, yeah, like, I definitely act like that. When, in reality, they, like, they were not good people, some well, of them. She, she goes on to say, most women think the trick is knowing the difference. The reality is there's no way of knowing at first, which often means you're dragged into a toxic situation before you realize just how bad it is. I mean, yeah, like, nailed it. Nailed it right there. All three of them. They... They should all be friends. Like, that's what happened with every single one of them, so. Yeah, but I guess that's got to be a thing then, like, you're just, like, because obviously, like, there's been people I've been interested in and then realized that, they, like, clearly they weren't, it wasn't going to work out, but I was hoping I could, like, make them, mold them, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh, let's fix this. Is that the same kind of draw where it's like, oh, if I can just get them to not be a misogynist, we'll be happy yeah. together. Well, okay, so, like, my last relationship, and, like, I've talked about this a lot before on the podcast, like, my issue was that he wasn't motivated and I was like trying to do all this stuff and I knew that he was smart. At least I thought he was. I don't know actually if he was or not, but like I just really wanted him to, you know, just like try to follow his dreams and like, you know, reach these goals that I thought we had talked about and set for him. And like, I feel like maybe I was a little bit like forceful not even forceful but I was like nagging with it when in reality like if he didn't want to do any of that stuff he wasn't going to yeah. so I was just like hey like we've talked about this like he wants to do this he's really smart he could do this and this and this and also I thought that you know since he'd been in the military he could get the GI bill but he was kicked out so he couldn't so yeah that, that whole know, there was that whole thing that he couldn't yeah. actually go back to school and do anything he was talking about unless he wanted to pay for it but didn't he say he was hurt like by an explosion yeah, but he yeah. looks fine. He does, yeah. Anyway, moving along there. Yeah, I thought that he would change, but he... Yeah, don't you hate when you're doing those explosions and you kind of lead? You just... I don't know. I actually called him out on my show yesterday. It was pretty cool, though. Good. Yeah. Uh, she, she said she doesn't understand the appeal of, of a bad boy. It's a, unless it's for a one-night stand. That's the, oh, they, they, she said that's the one thing they tend to deliver on. Other than that, though, it's like it's not worth getting emotionally entangled. I mean, yeah, like, I, I, yeah, like you can't, like, they, they, like they said, like you're not gonna know until like you're far deep, too far deep, like what their like true qualities are, whatever values, anything, because they just lie. And I don't want to say like they all lie, but like a lot of them do. And it's, I don't know. And like you, you're already in that little phase, like the honeymoon phase, where everything seems great, and it's really probably not. So yeah, it's, it's messy. It's all very messy. <laughs> My high school girlfriend told me after we broke up that I, she's like, I, ne I never forgot this. She said something as I forget the quote exactly, but you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Like, okay. You're the guy girls want to marry, not date. And I was like, huh? And then I, I didn't understand it then. And then like, as to like through college and like most of my twenties, I was like, oh, okay. Like to have like the actual like douche canoe for real is appealing. Like to, to like, oh, yeah. You know I mean, 
But then yeah. you, like the actual nice guy to get settled with, which is like that was is a weird dynamic to figure out. That's so insulting. <laughs> like, well, yeah, especially when I was 17, I was like, all right, so what am I going to do for the next 20 years? Just like hang out. Oh my God. That's but so it's, it's true though. I mean, there's those guys who are like, oh, this is why there's no nice guys. Most of those guys are douchers. But mm-hmm. there is like, I think there is something to that a little bit where it's like nice guys just aren't exciting. I think when you're younger, you want exciting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially because like we, like not we, but well, a lot of women think that nice guys are just kind of boring and you want like at least something you say you hate drama, but like deep down you might like some, I mean, now I definitely don't want drama, but like, I also probably, I I say that, but I probably would get bored if there wasn't anything. I think people mix up drama and passion. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that like with bad boys, especially the last one, there was just so much like toxicity and like, it was just one thing after another. And I mean, towards the end, like my best friend came this weekend and we were talking about it because I mean, like we've talked about it since the breakup, but like we were just like now that it's been like a few years, like we really sat down and talked about it. And she was like, honestly, like it was crazy because like I just always feel like I knew something was off with him and I would tell you that and like you just didn't see it. You know? But like also like we Carly and I both like we've had like our fair share of bad relationships. Mm-hmm. So I don't think we really listen to each other very well. But um. Like, she was like, and I would tell you, and she's like, and then by, like, towards, like, the end, like, that summer leading up to it, she's like, you're just such a broken person before, b- because of him, and, like, you just didn't realize it, because, like, it was just, like, the way that, like, that toxicity, like, it just wouldn't get away from you, and she's right, because, like, I was, like, I don't want to say, like, I was, like, all about it, because I, by that summer, I wasn't, and I was, like, a little depressed mess of a person, but also, like, I think that, like, I, like, you just, like, cling to it, like, when you're that far in. Yeah, I, I told you a couple of weeks ago on Instagram that you posted a photo. I was like, you look sad in this photo. Like, you know, you were smiling. I was like, oh, that was sad, Shelby. And you when? Were, you're, I don't know, it was like, a, I think it might have been a wedding photo. You responded back like, yeah, I was depressed, dude. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm just saying you look happier now. Oh, yeah, because I was like, oh, I found my boyfriend was cheating on me in this picture. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I was try- more so trying to say, like, you you come a long way, but leave it to say. Look at me now. I'm just kidding. Okay. Do you think I'm a, a bad boy? No. Why? I mean, I think that you like, like I, as a, okay. No, I don't want to say like you have like a persona, like, because like, I don't really want to say that you do, but yeah. like, like intern John and John are two very different people. So like the person that whoever gets to date John gets is actually like a very nice, like, I mean, I seem to, to get the sense that you're a pretty great boyfriend. Um, are you perfect? No, nobody is, but, oh. um, yeah. No, you're not. Um, but like, I mean, you're like a very like respectful, like great dude. But when it comes to intern John, like you're not even a bad boy. You just kind of come off as like an FB a little bit sometimes. Uh, what do you mean by that? A freaking butte? No, you you know you know. Yeah. So, um, a douche canoe, if you would. Like Bruce Wayne and Batman is what you're saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, I'm gonna oh. go with those guys in Sex Drive that are like hanging outside. And there's all they're always together, and they're like, "We've been to a motel." I don't have ever seen that movie. Dude, you you need. I'm to sure it's movie. great. I want okay. let me ask you this follow up. If uh, considering how good of friends we are now, if I if I we've been this good of friends and you're dating your ex boyfriend, I had told you he's an idiot. Would you have listened to me to anything? No, because I didn't listen to anybody because I was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I was really stupid. With a giant smile. On her face. <laughs> No, you got to accept it. I, I'm trying to think. Of, I I probably if you would have told me in like my past relationships, I probably would have listened. I don't think so. I think I would have. I, I, oh, I, I think it would, uh, Eric I would, Eric told you once and you didn't listen. Yeah, but that's like consider the source though, and that's not okay, that's Eric. Fair. That's that's, that's from like okay. a dude though. I'm saying from like from a a girl's perspective, I probably have been like, or at least have been a little bit more like that would put me a little more on guard. And, yeah. And then I probably would have seen it on my own, but that like. Eric oh. also like Eric has conspiracy theories where he's dead on, <laughs> but he also has conspiracy theories where it, it's the most like, oh, all lights are green today. That's because they're watching me, like like that that kind of thing. Because there, there's times where, like you've see, we we yeah. sit go, holy Eric was right, yeah. But, it, but it's so hit or miss, and when he misses, not even close. Yeah, but like the green light thing, he'd be like, oh, all lights are green day because they want us to not be in traffic. But tomorrow they're all going to be red. Don't you watch? Like you can watch and then they're all red. It's Wall Street telling us green is money. We got like that. That's 
That's fair. That, that's that's that definitely gross. that's him for sure. You can follow along with Sauce and her adventures on at Shelby sh- Sauce. Yeah, yeah. Post the post your Bumble BFF girl on Instagram. You want me? You want me to like just like screenshot her no, and like your story when you guys got to get drinks? Oh, I was like, uh, I don't no. like really want to like actually like ruin it already. No, you will eventually, but I think post it so we all can see though, so we can okay. picture why. Okay, I will. <laughs> at Shelby Sauce. Thank you. Make sure you leave a review. We'll be back on Friday. Bye. Hey. More Thought Shower online at thethoughtshower.com.